All right. Hey, everybody. Welcome back. Listen, just like that, we're back. All right, you guys, we're here with Jonathan from Jojo Speaks. His YouTube channel, Jojo Speaks, is out here now. Y'all check out his channel. It is amazing. He joins us every Monday night at 6 p.m. We're going to have this reality conversation. Y'all click that like button and that share button. We're going to be right back with Jonathan from Jojo Speaks on Reality Chat. Okay. Welcome to the Juice Radio Talk Show. 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 Reality TV, Church Free News. Let's talk happy love and marriage lifestyle. Come and talk with us. Come and share with us. With us. Come and laugh. COVID special guests, you should be following your lead. Bless, subscribe on YouTube, listen on podcasts. We live on IG and Facebook. This episode is sponsored by Truth and Triumph Ministries. All right. Hello, 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 everybody. We're back. Oh, my goodness, Jonathan. There is so much to cover. So much to cover. There oh, my is, goodness. There How are is. you? Let's I'm doing I'm doing well. I'm doing well. Um, I thought the um, the the last episode of uh, of Housewives of Potomac of the, of the regular season was decent, although there was really not much that was going on. There was really only one scene, and then we got into me and Gordon, and um, of course, I wanted to. Um, yeah. I'm looking forward to the reunion, but um, but yeah, and I'm excited about Summer House. Um, I do understand Ooh. that I think the first episode is available. I haven't watched it just yet, so I apologize for that. Um, but okay. I cannot wait to get into it, especially knowing that Silas is not going to be a part of the cast this season. That is definitely We're so happy. Thumbs up he, for that. He did make a he did make a cameo on the phone on a FaceTime okay. with her. Okay. I, I watched it uh, this morning. I didn't even. I said I'm not getting out of my bed because I got to watch all these shows. I got. You know, Dustin show I gotta watch. I got did all these shows to catch up on. So I did watch a little bit of it. So he made a little cameo. He made a little cameo on the phone. You know, Silas with his, his controlling behavior like self. He gonna right. make his way <laughs> on <to> the <that laughs> screen some kind of way, y'all. Y'all say hello to Aaron. How you doing, beautiful? Hey, Aaron. Aaron. Here, girl. Appreciate you so very much. Y'all remember to click like, click subscribe, click share. Aaron has also dropped Jonathan's channels as well as our other uh, co-panels channels in the chat here. Make sure that y'all check those out and subscribe today. Hey, Dustin. Hey, Dustin. Thank you, Aaron. Thank you for being here as well, y'all. Say hello to LaToya. Hey, LaToya. Hey, girl. Hey, thank you so much. Listen, LaToya and Dustin, all of them were right over there with me when we were on our previous video. Thank you so much. Aaron said, you look, you look very handsome, Jonathan. Yes, he does, right? Thank you so much. Jennifer told me that I look good in these button-ups on camera, so I, 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 I tried something different today. You know what? It is really cute. Thank you. I feel like I should unbutton this top button, though. Well, don't give him too much now. Don't give him too much. <laughs> <laughs> A little cleavage, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Drink it out, don't, don't you know. choke on it. <laughs> That's why we love us some Jonathan now. Go ahead and look cleavage. Yeah, it's cleavage for the girls, honey. <laughs> for the guys. <laughs> well, you know, I mean, <laughs> I wasn't going to say it, but you know, hey, we, we all know. I mean, I got you. Don't worry. <laughs> Listen, y'all say hello to Lady Virgo. Thank you so much for being here. Come on, Virgo. Hello over there on Instagram. I see y'all over there. Thank y'all so much for being here as well. Jonathan, you are a hoot. You always give me the biggest smile. I love <laughs> you so much. Hey, Bianca. Hey, Bianca. Hey, 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 Bianca. Say happy Monday, everybody. Thank y'all. Welcome back to the Juice Radio Talk Show. Remember to hit that thumbs up on the way and sit back, relax, and enjoy this show. And we always enjoy the show when Jonathan is here. Listen, Dustin said, Love your outfit, Jonathan. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Dustin. Um, I think mm -hmm. I'll I think I'll try to mix it up a little bit more than just my regular t-shirts from that one. We'll see. We'll see. I love it. See, listen, comfort, <laughs> that's okay. But listen, your your new style is Jennifer. Yes. She's that one right. <laughs> and the colors are nice too, you know. Thank you. Yes. Blue mm -hmm. blue is my favorite color. Got a little bit of white and red mixed in with it as well. So mm -hmm. yes, I, I love this. Yeah, I like it. I like it. Real nice. All right, you guys. So let's start off uh, real brief with um, Married to Medicine reunion. Um, I was away, of course, on vacation. 
which I had right. such a wonderful time with my husband. Let me tell y'all, I need to be rich, y'all. If I had rich, I would do these shows from the cruise ship. That's what I would do. Okay. Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. I'm, yes, I'm paying for the Wi-Fi. Okay. I, pay for the wifi. <laughs> I will pay for the Wi-Fi then, y'all. So um, just a real brief, because we're not going to spend too much time on it. Hey, Curse. Hey, beautiful. Thank you for being here. Listen, our Married to Medicine reunion, um, the only things I wanted to point out is... Um, I don't know why Quad was even back. I think it was just to shake up some drama with Sweet Tea. Quad mm -hmm. is such a self-absorbed person mm -hmm. in my mind that I just I could just do without too much of her. If she came back as a friend of the show, I would be like, eh, nah, maybe. Um, but Quad is so self-absorbed. And um, she was on Watch What Happens Live with Andy Cohen and Andy was like, you know, hey, how's everything with you and the girls? You know, afterwards, you know, because Dr. Jackie was like, oh, we just want you to, to contact us more, Quad. We just want you right. to reach out more, just be more of a friend. And yeah. she was like, oh, uh, the people, uh, the people have not been this and the people and they and talking about the girls. So Quad is too self-absorbed. And I think she needs to come down, deflate the balloon out of her head and be able to understand that Quad is not always about you. She was telling Andy that she felt like Andy did not answer the question or ask the questions that she thought should be asked as far as, you know, did any of the girls apologize to her? And Andy said, well, I thought they did apologize. We addressed that on the thing. And she was like, oh, no, Andy, you did not. You did not ask the questions. And Andy was like, oh. So Quad is too self-absorbed. M much like that reunion when she was asking all the questions to the girls, um, taking Andy's place during that reunion when she was in all the way on the end when they were in that DC style reunion type thing. Yes. Um, Quad is literally her own worst enemy. Um, I'm mm -hmm. really surprised that she was sitting on the couch the entire three parts of the reunion. That surprised me the most because I thought that she was just going to, she was like literally demoted at, to a friend of the show right. in mid season. That, that, <laughs> that, that was what I was getting. But um, I, I'm hoping what you said, Quad said on Watch What Happens Live, meaning that she's not really in touch with the girls like that, mm -hmm. means that she won't be coming back for the next season of Married to oh, Medicine. Wow. I don't see any reason why she would come back, even as a friend of, because it's clear that she's not a friend of any of these women. So she no. would not fit the fit the criteria for being a friend of, because she's nobody's friend on the show. Mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. What I wanted to mention from the reunion is, I love the fact that Apollo came. I was wondering yeah. why he's there. And he really had absolutely nothing to do with the show whatsoever this season. Um, however, I'm so glad that we were able to hear from him. We were able to hear mm -hmm. that he, both he and Phaedra are on good terms. He does come to the house. He just doesn't come inside the house. That confused me a little bit, but you know, well, it, it is what it is. Mm -hmm. I, I guess so. You know, if you have your rules, you know, so so be it. Um, but I was very happy to hear that um, he's very happily married. Mm -hmm. You know, what I'm saying? we mm -hmm. we saw those those those, um, those those uh, those uh, what door door doorbell cameras um, of him mm -hmm. going into the woman's house and mm -hmm. sitting on the Great. couch and you know all that good stuff. So you know, mm -hmm. it, you know, we'll leave that there. But I, I was very happy to hear from Apollo. They gave him like a nice fifteen minute segment asking him questions. And I thought that was very great for, for, for them. And I'm, I'm sure that was at Andy's request. <laughs> yeah. And you know what? I am glad that, um, I am glad that Andy, um, had him on there because Andy really still wanted to be like, Hey, I want to find out what's going on with Apollo too. And Andy gave him the biggest, nice hug that was like so amazing. I love, love, love the, the hug. That all the gays wish that we could give Apollo. <laughs> yes, absolutely. Yes. Okay. Just to hold on to that man, honey. Just to touch that man, honey. Oh yes. We were all wish you we were Andy Cohen in that very precise moment. Yes. Oh my goodness. Yeah. He. Yeah. Okay. I. I get. It. I get. It. I, I would have wanted to give him a hug too. I don't want okay. to hold on to him. I don't want to hold on to him because he's a cheater. And I don't want cheaters, but you know. Oh, I was about to say, I'll hold on, girl. I will hold on for <laughs> at least a good twenty to thirty seconds, at least a good. He and he was still, he was still defending Phaedra yes. when when Dr. G was talking. He was like, right. "Wait a minute, 
He's like, you know, so Phaedra is just like that. That's just her standards. Dr. G was like, you know, she wanted for him to pay her $4,000 a month. Now, Dr. G, I think Dr. G wanted everyone to believe that Phaedra would told him point blank, hey, you got to pay me $4,000. When I don't know if that's what she said. What's your thoughts on the $4,000? But but Phaedra didn't say that she didn't ask for it. She never said that it wasn't true directly. She didn't say directly that it wasn't true because in the confessional, she said, oh, that's just a purse. That's just a this, that's just a that. But on the reunion show, she actually never said, I never said those words to you. So to me, and I feel like Dr. G has no reason to lie about that because, mm -hmm. you know, he was very, much younger at that time. He was just starting out at that time. He wasn't as stacked as far as the bank account was concerned at that time. So I believe what Dr. G said. And, and it makes sense to me. That's the type of chick Phaedra is. And again, she didn't deny it directly. So that leads me to believe that it's true. Well, there you go. And Apollo was looking very handsome. The way he just sat in that chair and he's suave. Just, you know, just, oh, but he's a cheater. I cannot. I don't do cheaters. But <laughs> he, he is good eye candy. He is good eye candy. Absolutely. Yes. Well, that's all I have for the housewife for married to medicine. Um, listen, they do need to um, do some change up, some shakeups or whatever. Child, Andy Cohen, his shady self, when he asked, he said, what is the thing that you regret? And he went straight to to uh, to Curtis, <laughs> to Curtis, <laughs> to Curtis. Yes. And, and I want to mention really, really quickly. Eugene said, yes. let's, let's, let's just put it out there. Let me whip it out. And Eddie said, OK, OK, come on, come on. Let's let, let, let's do this thing. OK, Andy, yes, you, I you, will be the judge. OK, yes, Andy. Andy, now Andy got to be cautious. He's already going through a couple of lawsuits. There's some some legalities regarding is, him being, but, being but, too friendly but with his cat. Like but all those lawsuits sounds like petty, petty, yep. petty, petty, petty girls mm -hmm. who are upset that they're not on the shows they're anymore upset. or they're not yep. in a good relationship with him anymore. So mm -hmm. they just want to be petty to, to try to take down the top dog. But Andy will not be taken down. I, be. I, I truly believe that. Won't be. Jonathan, you sent me the looks. What did you send me on Instagram or or, in, or Facebook? I sent it to you through text messages. Um, I could send it to you in the chat. Do you want me to send it in the chat? Yes, send it to me in the chat because I'm using the other phone for my my uh, Instagram. Uh, let me get these comments while you, while you do that. Lady Virgo said, Regina okay. was trying to say that Candace and Wendy get very defensive when you talk about their husbands. Yeah, I get it. She said, but what about what she said about Ashley's husband? Candace's mouth is very reckless. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you're right. What about what she said about Ashley's husband? Yeah. Candace and Wendy are, we gonna talk about them too. We gonna talk about them too. But thank you, Lady Virgo, for putting that in there. Um, thank you, Curves. She's saying hello. Um, Lady Virgo said, Jonathan is glowing today. Did he also go on a vacation somewhere? I wish. I wish. Thank you so much, Lady Virgo. I, I, mm -hmm. I appreciate that. And I love the fact that you put your sign in, in your screen name. I, I love a, a sign forward person. I'm, I'm always I love it. that. I but but no, I, I wish. I wish. Take me on a vacation if you want to. I'll go. Hey. Yeah, come on now. He's ready for a trip. Okay. I, <laughs> I really want to go back to Vegas. Like Vegas is one of my favorite spots to go to. It's just really? so chill out there. Um, they yeah. have like the, the tribal um, markings on the highway. It's it's such a good vibe. It's, it really is. It, I, I love Vegas. I really yeah. Love Vegas. We were thinking about going to Vegas or Puerto Rico for my son's birthday around the end of April, beginning of March, um, beginning of May. So we're going to see either Vegas or Puerto Rico, but we'll see. Those Lady are two Virgo totally said, different choices, but I would probably are. choose Puerto Rico, though. You know just why? Just because I've been to Vegas. Well, because um, one of my children, I'm not going to say which one, but one of my children wants to smoke weed. And so. <laughs> okay. Okay. I, I Understood. Understood. I'm not mad at it. Not at all. <laughs> and so you have to be careful when you travel, because if you're going for a week, you got to go to one of the places that will allow it because you don't want no withdrawals. <laughs> well, well, well if, if, if that's the desire, Las Vegas is where you need to be. OK, there is the street in Vegas and get a contact high real quick. <laughs> there, there is a dispensary on every other corner, honey. OK, <laughs> where you could where the read is in plenty, honey. OK. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> so that was why you said two different places. Well, we had to scope out what places allow us. She did not want to go to Colorado. She was like, uh-uh, I don't want to go there. What's out and, there? Okay. And my son's like, my son's like, no, I don't want to go to Colorado. And then my son's like, well, I'll go to Puerto Rico. My daughter's like, I don't know if I want to go to Puerto Rico. And then they're like, so, you know. I think everyone will have a good time in Vegas. I think that's a place where everyone can find something good to do, something fun to do. I yes. think Vegas might be your best choice. But you Listen, know, my husband will love Vegas the most because they are casino heaven and that's his favorite. It's his favorite. Oh. I just want to get some good eats. And you know, and there's a lot of good eats in in Vegas as well. So absolutely, mama, may, mama might be happy in Vegas. All right, I think so. so. <laughs> Lady Virgo said, and Dr. Heavenly is still Dr. Heavenly. She ain't changed yet, mm -hmm. and she won't. She doesn't yeah. have to. It, it's <laughs> her, Dr. Heavenly's whatever she's giving her energy is what pays her. So why, if it yeah. ain't broke, don't fix it. So child, she I was will. ready to come across that stage again. And and then she's gonna tell Jackie, Jackie, go get her, go go get her. Like I like I I know she was being funny because she knows that Jackie would never, you know, uh, upset her pearls to get in with some with, with some girl. But you know, I, I thought that was a little bit funny. But heavily, come on now, you 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 know Jackie ain't about that life. I'm gonna have to get that T-shirt. Don't upset. I won't upset my pearls. <laughs> okay, I won't disturb the pearls, honey. Never that, honey. Okay, not not to get with the swine, honey. No. <laughs> No, I will not no. cast my curl, my my pearls before swine. Okay, <laughs> don't put scripture on it. Get a scripture. But don't cast your pearls before swine. <laughs> Jonathan, yes, I need that on a t-shirt. Right along, right along. My next t-shirt next to that one is going to be Child Gordon's Gordon say, mm -mm. "If you want a fair, go to a carnival." Oh my God! Wow. T-shirt slogan of the century. I've never heard that before. And it took me a second to catch on to it, but it, it definitely hit. It definitely hit. Absolutely. Oh, my goodness. We don't talk about that. Lady Virgo said Andy was drooling over Apollo, sitting there like the rest of us. Yes, he was. Oh, like, like the rest of us. Exactly. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, Virgo. <laughs> Bianca said, I've never been to Vegas. No. You okay. need to go, Bianca. You, we you all need, need to go. You need to go. Mm -hmm. it's, Lady it's Virgo, the place mm -hmm. to be. Mm -hmm. Lady Virgo got the cigarettes and no smoking. <laughs> okay. Okay, Lady so, Virgo. Yes, you you, listen, you sound like my type of girl, Lady Virgo. <laughs> make sure, listen, if you haven't subscribed, Lady Virgo, come on over here to Jonathan's channel at JoJo Speaks okay. now. Okay. The chat is in there. I'm, you would love him. He does Thursday night um, hot gossips. And y'all would love it. So, housewife married to medicine. Okay, they're fine. Listen, uh, it, it, it is what it is. I wish that Simone would listen to what Heavenly was really trying to tell her. She was just trying to tell her, listen, I'm trying to tell you your friend Jackie was hurting. That's all. But Simone was like, I don't need you to tell me in her high pitched voice. I don't. I need Jackie to tell me. And then I, was, I, I get what she was saying. But if my friend come to me and say, Hey, Jonathan is hurt. You know, I need you need to talk in a calm way. Right. It would be better received. Heavenly don't come to Doc Simone like that sometimes. What do you think about that that scene? Dr. Simone is going to allow Heavenly to cause a rift between her and Jackie. Again, yeah. this yeah. happened a couple seasons ago mm -hmm. at a reunion where she was really upset with Jackie for mm -hmm. being buddy buddy with Dr. Heavenly. And it seemed to have subsided. But now that 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 energy is starting to come up again. And I don't like Dr. Simone when she's upset with Dr. Jackie because she's a different Dr. Simone. She's not as happy-go-lucky. Mm -hmm. She's a little bit more vicious. She's not as nice to everyone. And mm -hmm. I like Dr. Simone when she's in a happy place and she's not yelling at the top of her lungs because she only gets loud when she has to get loud or when she feels yeah. like she has to get loud. But I really hate to see, because there's jealousy there in Dr. Simone when she sees Dr. Jackie and Dr. Heavenly over there on the other there side, sitting next to each other. And and I hate to see that. I, that's like, you, Dr. Simone, you know where you stand with Dr. Jackie, but Dr. Simone's acting like she doesn't know where she stands with Dr. Jackie. And I, I don't like seeing that. I really don't. Simone needs to understand you hurt your friend. And you have to understand Dr. Jackie does not want to come to you and say you hurt me. For whatever reason, she don't want to really come to her. But she did say on the on the the, the uh, reunion that yeah, you know it, she did get hurt. But 
Uh, I don't know, Simone. But, Simone. but I think it was a smart thing for Dr. Heavenly to latch on to Dr. Jackie because they have a little, had a little bit of a riff when Dr. Heavenly first yeah. joined the cast. They had yeah. a little bit of, of a tiff, but for Dr. Heavenly to see Dr. Jackie and say, now, I don't think she did that did, did that on purpose as like a like a game thing for a reality TV thing type of thing. Mm -hmm. But I, I, I love seeing Dr. Heavenly with Dr. Jackie because they're total opposites. But you see a little bit more of Dr. Jackie when Heavenly's around. Dr. Jackie yeah. tends to come out of her shell a little bit when she's mm -hmm. with Dr. Heavenly. So I, I like to see that. But I don't want to see Dr. Simone um, to... to to deflect from who she is and deflect from Dr. Jackie because Dr. Heavenly's in the room. I, I really hate yeah. to see that. I, of course. Um, Curve said Dr. Simone is the reason that Dr. Jackie and her are no longer friends. Mm. Yes, mm -hmm. that's true. Yeah. That's very yeah. true. She is the reason. And and I think sometime that Simone, I was getting the feeling that Simone, Dr. Simone was kind of taking Dr. Jackie for granted, you mm. know? Mm -hmm. Um, and like all the girls mm -hmm. were saying, even even um, let me get her name. Listen, Kima's wife, even she, uh, Alicia, was saying, Alicia, she was even saying, Listen, you know, you could have just canceled that trip, girl. We could have had a barbecue in the backyard. Now, Dr. Simone was saying a lot of times production gets gets you know things out of the way when you when you tell them you want to go to a certain place, so they already got the hotels in place. Um, for mm -hmm. the staff, everyone that's going with them, they already got the flights in place. So, you know, when things are set in stone, I, I understand that you know, if she was not able to change it, I really do get that. But to think of going to Hilton Head in the first place, that's the main issue. Yeah. Let me tell you, the way I am with my friends, if I had booked it and I couldn't get my money back, if if she was as good a friend as I think that Dr. Jackie is, I would have just had to ate that money. I'd have just been like, yeah. listen, I'm a the next patient gonna pay a little extra, but I'm <laughs> I'm gonna have but to see, cancel this. I, I think Dr. Simone, it might have crossed her mind, but I felt like she was in a place with Dr. Jackie where she didn't care. And that's what, and I think that's what hurt Dr. Heavenly so much because Dr. Heavenly is so close to Dr. Jackie. Yeah, and now. for you to be her friend, supposed friend, and to have for all the girls to go back to this place of pain for you, it's, 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 it's to me, Dr. Heavenly thinks that's unforgivable. And, and I understand that. I really do. And maybe, maybe Dr. Simone did not want to put as much effort into changing it because Dr. Jackie and Dr. Heavenly are buddy buddy and exactly. she's not buddy buddy. It could have been a tactic of, I don't care. And this is the way I'm going to get you back. Mm -hmm. um, so, and maybe just use the excuse that, you know, we can't cancel. You know what I'm saying? That's, yeah. it's, it's easy. Yeah. But mm -hmm. I love the way, I love the way um, Alicia was standing up. Or, you know, Dr. Jackie, come on, girl, have the barbecue in the backyard. I love that yes. line right here. Yes. <laughs> the first surround, uh, surround sound needs to take accountability for her aggressive flip-flopping behavior. <laughs> Ooh, Lord. Surround sound. Surround sound. That's Ooh, a good Lord. one. <laughs> that is a good one. That is a good one. All right, so let's go over here and we're going to talk about um, Housewives of Potomac because I want to get Jonathan's take on these beautiful fashion because... Um, listen, you guys, a reunion is going to be coming up. We're going to talk a little bit about the show and, uh, but we're going to first talk about the reunion. Is that okay, Jonathan? Absolutely. And I have to say, I'm shocked at a statement that I will have to make during What's these that? reunion looks. I, I, I'll Ooh. get to it when I get to it, but you know, we'll, we'll get there. Okay. We'll get there. Well, well, let's start with this first one. This is Robin's wear. Mm, oh. What'd you think, Jonathan? I do like it. Um, it's pretty. Um, it is safe. Uh, you know, you know, it would not pass on RuPaul's Drag Race runway. You know what I'm saying? This, this, this ain't it. You know, this is just a a simple black dress. There's really not no no embellishment, no sparkle, no. But it's sheer. No, it's uh, it's, it's okay. Sheer. You know, she she went a little daring. You, you see the little sheer legs? What? Well, you'll see the little sheer legs. Oh, okay. I mean, it's, it's it's nice, I guess. Okay, Robin. Also, I, I do I do like the top of it though. I, I do like the the top of it. it. Looks like she has a little bit of sil silver around the breast area. So I, I yeah. do I do like that. I, I do like. What that. about the makeup? But, the dark uh, the dark eyes. The, I love the makeup and I love the hair. 
Uh, um, she she really never looks bad when it comes to her makeup and hair, especially mm-hmm. tonight. Like this past mm-hmm. episode when she had the ponytail with the two bangs on the side, that's the best Robin has ever looked. That I've, that's the yeah. cutest I have ever seen Robin. Um, but you know, Robin never really like brings it for the reunion, so I, I'm not surprised. Robin don't bring it for anything. Well, well, th- there you go. I mean. <laughs> <laughs> Not for the show in general, okay? She don't bring nothing. <laughs> She's always the one that says, I'll bring the bread. Oh, exactly. <laughs> no, uh, no, she says, I'll bring the plates, okay? Oh, the plates and the cups, honey, the okay? Cups. Oh, my goodness. Well, let's check out your girl, Wendy. What do you think about Wendy's outfit? This is giving me old school, um, you know, like like back in the day, you know what I'm saying? Mm. Like old school glamour, old school Hollywood. Um, I'm not sure how I feel about the white ac- the white accent. I feel like that's a little bit distracting from the beautiful mm-hmm. black dress. Although mm-hmm. I think it might look too simple if the white wasn't there. So maybe I'm glad mm-hmm. that it is there. And I don't necessarily care for her hair being slicked back like this. I like I like for Wendy's hair to be a little more voluminous, a little bit more full, but um, it is a cute look though. I think the necklace might be a little bit too much as well. I, I, this, now, I was saying, I, I was gonna say, I like the necklace. Um, I like her having a neck piece on. It, it is oh. a piece because that that's very <laughs> that's a very drag um, necklace right there. It's, it's <laughs> very out there. A neck piece. Um, I'm glad she had that. Um, it looks like uh, one of the ladies was supposed to be Dorothy Dandruff. It kind of looks like a Dorothy Dandruff uh, type yes. of thing going on yes. with the lady. So Old forth. Um, I have to say this about your girl, Wendy. She always has good skin. Absolutely. Always yeah. has good skin. I, I got to give it to your girl for that. I like her. I do like her makeup. Um, her hair pulled back. I, I kind of like it, you know, because what it's doing is it's giving more to the necklace, the neck yes. and the dress. So right. not, not too bad. Not too bad, Wendy. Okay, looks like velour too. I don't know what that is. It it does almost looks like velvet in a way. Mm, okay, so here we go. Oh wait, I, I got to go back to show her Ashley. Um, here is um Mia. What you think about Mia's dress? I wish I saw her standing up, but I do like the dress. I do like it mm-hmm. a lot. Um, it does not surprise me that Mia's wearing something that is very revealing. Um, mm-hmm. it's, 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 it's really nice. It really is. Um, again, Mia's never really been that fashion girl for me, um, but she always has good fashions, if that makes any sense. Mm. She's not she's not the it fashion girl, but she knows what she's doing when it comes to her closet. So I, I, I do I do enjoy this I enjoy this dress. It's not too simple, um, much like Robin's dress. Um, it's not it's it's a little bit more eccentric um, than than Wendy's dress as well. It's got a little bit more going mm-hmm. on with it. I love the shoulder. Um, I love the midsection where it looks like you know she's got a little bit mm-hmm. of 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 her up Your above pickle. the navel showing. So mm-hmm. I, I I like that. Um, Mia's hair. I wish she would do more with her hair Um, because right now it's just pulled back. I wish she would like curl it a little bit, you know, give her, give herself uh, some, 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 some more volume. Um, Mm -hmm. I I feel like me is always lacking with in the hair department for some reason. Mm. Um, But you know, she, she does what works for her, I guess. All right. We're going to get into comments and find out what y'all think. Um, Here is NECA. NECA. NECA looks excellent. Um, Oh, yes. Love this dress. Yes. Um, I love the sparkle. Um, I love this um, this right side of the dress where it looks like yes. it's separated. It looks like it's not mm-hmm. even attached to the rest of the dress. I think that looks fabulous. I love the hair. I love the makeup. Mecca looks wonderful for her first reunion. As much as I don't like yes. her, she slayed. Absolutely. Yes. Hey, Dennis, over there on Instagram. Yes, NECA, I love, love, love this dress. I'm I mean, not popping even the hip out too. Like, she's posing. Ooh. I love this dress. When I saw it, I was like, okay, Nyeka, you did it. However you say your name, you did this dress. <laughs> I do love that she had the straight sleeve with the glove. Looks like a glove or something on her, her mm-hmm. right arm. And then she has got the puff sleeve over there. And this boobage coverage is very nice. Very nice. But listen, Nyeka, she's been giving us fashion anyway. So she does she has. What, what do you think about her hair and her makeup? I think her makeup is nice. I love the hair. I love that it's all to one side. It looks like yeah. um, all on her on her left side. Um, mm-hmm. Neca's hair is, has been on point this entire season. That's one thing mm-hmm. we can say about Neca. Um, so that mm-hmm. doesn't surprise me. That's the perfect hair for this type of look. The makeup is nice too, as well. Yeah, I love it. All right, so here we got. Um, oh goodness, this thing goes so fast. 
Well, we'll come back to Grand Dame. Here we have Candace, who is leaving the show. She is. So apparently, voluntarily, she is leaving voluntarily. the show. Voluntarily. Mm. Um, I do like this dress. I love the fact that she has a microphone in her hand. It shows us where, where she's going, what she does. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. So it gives mm-hmm. us a point of view of her. Um, Candace mm-hmm. is another one of those girls who's not really like a fashion it girl, but she mm-hmm. typically does right when it comes to the fashion. So I will say I don't have any negatives necessarily for this dress. I think mm-hmm. it's a pretty dress, but that's I really can't say much more than that. I will say, though, I do like her hair. Um, I like this color on her. I think it goes well with her skin tone. Um, Uh And I like the length of it as well. Candace is one of those girls who can really go... I won't say any length because I don't think she'd look good in a pixie cut. But you know, I, I you know any length past her shoulders would would, would be good yeah. for 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 Candace. But I, I do I like do the dress. To, I do have to say I like her hair. I like her hair like mm-hmm. this. I like this color. This is a very nice color. It is now, Candace. We know Candace don't really like to wear too much clothes. She's like Ashley. Her and Ashley they don't like to wear too much clothes. But Ashley's the worst at it though. Ashley is the a- worst. Ashley be but but but, but booty naked. On, on, on <laughs> mm, mm. Okay, and then we have um let me go back over here. Wait a minute, who did I miss? Come on, y'all going too fast. Here we grand on. Whoa. Jonathan, what are we doing with the grand on? This is the part of the show um where um um I'm so I'm I, I can't believe I'm going to say this. I mm. don't like any of it. No. I hate the hair. The hair is a shortcut. It's blonde. I mean, the color's decent, but that mm-hmm. shortcut just don't look good on the grand dame. It just, it just don't. I'm sorry, it don't. The makeup is nice. This dress, I, I, it just, it's not a nice dress. The gray is too distracting from the black. I understand if you want to do something different, much like Candy did in the last reunion when they had that teal looking color and it mm-hmm. was mostly goldish, but with the teal in the middle. So I understand if she, if you wanted to do something different, but if you're going to do something different, for me, it has to be spectacular. And and this mm-hmm. looks like it came off the runway of Project Runway in the in the bottom three. It, oh. it doesn't, it doesn't. The ruching in the middle. I mean, it looks like she's got bigger hips than than normal, which is, I, I guess, it's okay. It's kind of in, in situating that that part where she's got the small waist and it comes out to the big hips. So that looks mm. decent, but for me, this is not a pretty dress. I, I was extremely disappointed, and for me, Karen is the worst dress for this reunion. Ooh, well, I'm gonna say this: this haircut and this hairstyle makes her look like somebody say you need to act your age. Mm. That's mm. what it looks like. It it is too old for her. She's triple 60, but she is like like a, a single 20s. And that's yeah. what we've become, grown accustomed to her. Right. And so now with this look, this is taking her to way too older looking. Yeah. And 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 plus with the gray on top of it for the dress it's adding to the blondish gray on her hair and then the dark, dark eyes, which with the, um, I'm not even a fashionista type, but you know, <laughs> the makeup, I didn't like her makeup. I do not like the dress. I don't, um, like, I, I don't like, I don't like the hair and I don't know where she's going with those grandma church lady earrings. Um, mm, like it's, I almost wanted to say the dress was ugly, but I felt like that would be too mean. But I don't like the dress at all. Like, I don't like this at all. I'm so disappointed. And I want to know what happened. Maybe if we see the ladies move in them. I'll see if I find something. Maybe that would make make it uh, different. So who didn't we see? Giselle. Come on. Come back here, Giselle. Okay. Ashley. Okay. So here's Ashley. She always looks like she's about to take a stage and kick up a leg and kick and, up a leg. Yes, she's gonna get that leg up. If anybody gonna get the leg up, honey, it's gonna be Ashley Darby, honey. Okay. <laughs> Regina, I love this dress. I love this dress. This is a showgirl dress. This is a it looks show like a show off girl dress. Thing. This mm-hmm. is a dress where it's it, look at me. Yeah, yes, mm-hmm. I might be sitting on the yeah. end of the couch, but you go, you go look at Ashley Darby, okay? Yes, ma'am, I love this. The <laughs> gloves, like she, this is proper woman. The hair is perfect. The makeup is perfect. The dress, even though you can it, you you can almost see her hoo-ha, it's, it's perfection. 
I love <laughs> this look. And I want to say that she's a she's she's neck and neck with NECA for best dress for me. I, I want to okay. put her a little bit over NECA because I just love this look. I, I love this. I, I was shocked when I saw and especially the hair. Like, I think this is the most hair I've ever seen on Ashley, and it looks good on her. Yeah, and she's got some beautiful hair. Her, her own beautiful. natural hair is being beautiful. Uh, this reminds me of, of Ashley when she was talking about her pageant days. Mm, um, that's mm -hmm. what this dress looks like to me. But um, listen, it, it is, you know, it's Ashley. And, and of course, yes, the hair is absolutely beautiful. It is. All of them seem to have a little glove this time. All of them got a little glove. Well, you know, it's it, 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 uh, a glove. Sometimes is necessary, you know, to show elegance. You know, to 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 to, to add on to the elegant part of of, of your ensemble. Okay. Well, here's your girl Giselle. I, I don't know whose girl she is, but she sure ain't my girl. Um, I do like the um the drape. I I love the draping on this dress. The draping is what's making the dress a little bit special because yeah. otherwise we would just say that this is another little black Dangerous. dress. But that mm -hmm. that um that draping is absolutely beautiful. Um, looks like mm -hmm. Rami from Project Runway made it. It, it. It's this is a beautiful dress. This might be. One of my favorite, more, more better looks for Giselle at a reunion because mm -hmm. she typically does go so wrong for the reunion looks, but mm -hmm. she looks beautiful. Um, and her hair looks nice as, as always. Giselle's hair always looks good. Um, yeah. Well, maybe except for the first season, but Giselle's Ooh. hair always has 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 been looking good um, for 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 the for the seasons thereafter. But I think she Listen, looks fine. Every everybody's hair first season was like questionable. All right, of them. exactly. You know, all except for Ashley, because Ashley's hair was was what we're used except to seeing from Ashley. Yeah, yeah. I, I do like this dress on Giselle. Um, it's not giving me like over the top, um, like mm -hmm. the other girls. So she's still gonna be in the simple, um, part like a lot of people um are used to her being. Right. Uh, but I, I don't think she went wrong with this dress. I think she finally got it right. Um, it's not something that we're going to talk negative about. It's a simple dress. Everybody usually wins when you do a simple black dress. Right. You can't um, go wrong. Oh, you mm -hmm. really can't. Yeah. So I think she did good. We also want to say, um, although her father um, unfortunately passed away months yes. ago, we still want to say condolences to her. Um, right. I could just feel her pain when she was going through that. Having to know that my father also um, passed away. He was my uh, stepfather to many, but my dad, none the least, passed away from, um, he passed away from male breast cancer. And so mm. to hear her father went through uh, brain cancer and wow. passed away shortly after the procedure, the surgery that he had, it, it's heartfelt because everyone knows that Giselle was a, a daddy's girl. Absolutely. I love, love, love her daddy. And now, so condolences to her and also to her girls and all those that loved him. And I'm glad that she was able to share him with us on screen. We can go back, watch the rerun, reruns of those and see how she really enjoyed her dad. And I want to thank Giselle for having her dad on uh, camera for us to enjoy him as well. So condolences Absolutely. to him. We pray that he will rest and sleep peacefully in heaven and enjoy. But our condolences to you, Giselle. But beautiful, uh, beautiful dress. She did it right this time. Absolutely. All right, let's see. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and, so and also, um, I think that's all the girls for now. But um, also, yeah. I really want to say, um, I know we discussed the seating chart um a couple of weeks ago, but I have to say again, I'm so glad that Giselle is not sitting next to Andy. Karen mm -hmm. and Mia are sitting next to Andy now. I was a little surprised Mia was sitting next to Andy, but you know she's getting divorced from from Gordon, so I guess that's the main reason why she's there. But at the same mm -hmm. time, I don't know who else would 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 you know deserve that seat. Um. To, to be honest, I, I might have given it to NECA because she did make a little bit more of a splash than the other girls did on this particular season. Um, mm -hmm. that, but 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 yeah, I was just glad that that Karen was sitting next to Andy because I believe if anyone deserves a permanent seat next to Andy on the Housewives of Potomac, it is the Grand Dame. Yes, of course, the Grand Dame. I think there was a time that she did sit in the middle a little bit. Um, but she, she did. Mm -hmm. yeah. So here's the seating chart for um, the season eight. Um, you can see here, like Jonathan said, you've got um, you've got Mia sitting next to Andy and then Karen on the other side. And then next to Mia, you have Candace. And of course, next to Candace, who else? But it's going to be Wendy. And then next to Wendy is Ashley on the end there. And then on the other side, you've got next to Karen, you've got Giselle. And then you have next to Giselle Robin. And next to Robin, you've got Nyeka. Now, I want to say this about Nyeka. I'm going to just call this girl Nyeka. 
I want to say this to, about her. Mia did not uh, invite her to the uh, wardrobe thing where they were um, channeling um, mm -hmm. the, the great uh, matriarchs. Um, she did not invite her. She's saying that she wanted somebody, they wanted somebody, you know, that they were familiar with the show and, and they don't know her from Atomic, blah, 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 whatever, Mia. Right. But um, let me tell you how much of a good friend NECA is. She still showed up for the, the viewing. Yes, absolutely. Bravo was, and kudos. I, I was happy yes. to see that. I had actually forgotten that she wasn't involved in mm -hmm. the actual photo shoot itself. But um, <laughs> but but yes, I um, I love the fact that she was there to support. However, you know, with this being the last day of taping, I don't know if Neca really had a choice whether to show up or not. So I don't know if that was a choice that she made on her own accord. But you know, mm -hmm. I'm glad she was there nonetheless. Yes, I'm glad she did um, show up. Now let's talk about Robin because Robin, Robin Dixon um, allegedly has uh, been uh, put on pause and Absolutely. she won't be allegedly returning uh, to the Real Housewives of Potomac. What do you think about that? Um, I'm very happy to hear that. Um, I thought it should have happened this past season. I thought she should not have come back for this past season. Um, mm. She gave us nothing again, except for a couple of arguments with the girls concerning Juan, a um, couple of scenes of Juan saying, I don't care, and Robin just repeating what he says. Um, Robin brings nothing to the show. Zero, zilch, nada, nothing to the show. Um, she, she's only Giselle's friend. Um, and so she just being Giselle's lapdog does not put you, give you a place, should not put you on a show for for seven, eight seasons. That that I mean, to, to me, that 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 really doesn't make much sense. But I'm so glad that 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 she is now no longer on the show. But my question is, if you guys were just going to fire her, why didn't you just do that last season? Yeah. Well, they probably want to just co keep contributing to that paycheck. You know, she still gets paid. May, may, and, maybe they just wanted to get the aftermath of what happened, and then yeah. be like, okay, you can go. Yeah. But not only that, Candace has announced that she is leaving the show and she's yeah. stating that they did not fire her, but she made the choice on her own. Do you think that Candace made the choice on her own? I do. I definitely do believe that Candace left the show. I, I, I don't I see no reason why the producers would want to remove Candace from the show. Um, mm -hmm. I think she definitely is a fan favorite for sure. Um, there are a lot mm -hmm. of people out there who love Candace, um, but I will say, though, I think it's really going to change the dynamic yeah. of the show. Mm -hmm. And I think Wendy is going to be searching for some friends Ooh, because with Candace off the show, Wendy really ain't got no allies on the show. She doesn't. I mean, she and if anything, the only person she can really cling to is Karen. But everybody clings to Karen. Because mm -hmm. she's Karen, so you know I, I'm 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 worried for Wendy in in this case, and this makes me feel like Neca should have been her friend on the show, and they should have had a, somewhat of an alliance on the show, there so that go. when Candace does leave, at least Wendy has somewhat of an ally on the show. But now Wendy's going to be all by herself, so I don't know what she, what she's going to do, who she's going to film with, um, and I don't know how this is going to affect Giselle because. Right. <laughs> I, I know that Giselle is pretty good friends with Karen. I always love to see their dynamic on the show. I love I think it, it's love it, love it. So mm -hmm. authentic, even more authentic than Giselle's relationship with Robin. Um, yes. Because they keep it real with one another. But mm -hmm. I don't know how Giselle is going to be able to thrive now that she doesn't have her lapdog. I mean, she can use Mecca as, as another oh, lapdog, no. I guess, you know, so, or she, or she could have Ashley do her dirty bidding because she's done it before. So, you know, who, who, who knows, but we'll, we'll see. Well, Giselle, Giselle would be able to maneuver just fine. Even Absolutely. if Sharice comes fine. back, she, she's going to be able to maneuver just fine. Wendy, on the other hand, has dug some holes Mm -hmm. that um, she ain't going to be able to feel. Now, I think what Wendy is probably or should do, I would say, is she needs to try and rally to get um, Kiana on the show. Mm, um, yes. I think she needs to rally to try and get her to be a part of this platform now. Now, will Kiana do it? Because she's going through this video now of resurfacing of this fight that ensued and her getting hit in the head with the glass and blood spewing everywhere. Um, but will the relationship between her and Wendy be to a point where she would want to come on the show and continue to be a friend to Wendy? Because I'm saying that because Wendy has not shown herself to be a very good friend, in my opinion, to Kiana. 
Um, right now, now, you know, I understand that she hasn't shown herself to be a good friend. However, now that Wendy finds herself in the situation that she is mm-hmm. in, I see her clinging to her mm. as she should um, mm. because she has no one else to cling to. So yeah. she might be, mm-hmm. this might force her to act right and act like a good friend in this case. Mm-hmm. So we'll, we'll see. Yeah. But I, I don't okay. know what she does. I, I'm not sure if she's housewife material. Um, she's definitely friend of material for sure. She's got that down pat, especially with the confessional. I love that that look with the bow on the front. Like that, that's that's a really cute, that cute so shirt cute. to me. That dress um, is very cute. But but yeah, and you know what? That's what's making me think maybe this is the reason why they had eight girls on this season, because they knew um that at least one or two of the girls were not going to be here for the next season. Yeah, I think it's good that uh, Candace is on pause. I think it's good that Robin is on pause. Um, Robin and 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 Candace can come back as friends of the show. I don't think Candace will want to come back as a friend of the show. For what? Um, I think she would probably think, you know, no, I don't want to do that. Maybe she'll think, you know, her status is too much for her to come back as a friend of the show. But I think Robin would uh, be fine with coming back as a friend to the show. So I don't know. Uh, Any let's check get a is comment. a good check for Robin. Okay. Uh, Come on now, listen. I'm telling Any you. check is a good check for me too. I'm just saying. You know what I'm saying? Ah, I'm keeping it real. Okay. There you Thank go. you. <laughs> and you're welcome. <laughs> Lady Virgo said, thanks, you guys. I subscribed to JoJo uh, Speaks two weeks ago. This is actually uh, LaToya Miller. Oh, Lato- she's oh, LaToya Miller. Okay, LaToya. I thought we'd be trying to change the channel on us. Thank you, beautiful. Okay. I guess she was like, y'all kept getting me confused with LaToya Washington. I'm right. I'm, I'm glad you changed your name, Lady Virgo. I love I'm it. She so said, glad about that. Thank you. She said, for me on Bible study Thursday, two weeks ago, I changed my name. I love it. Thank you for pointing that out, girl. Um, Bianca said, those are boot pants. I don't like this look at all. Love her hair, though. Thank you. Okay, so she loved her hair. So, um, Ro- Aaron said, Robin is always beautiful, but she doesn't always show it. Agreed. Again, like I said, that, that hair that she had in that girl. final scene on this show, it was yes. so cute. Like, she actually, that, that's what happens when you make an effort. You know what I'm saying? Yes. Mm-hmm. Yes. Um, I love that. I love how y'all are being friendly and kind in these comments. I love it. Lady Virgo said, is is Jonathan saying drag as in drag queen? Absolutely. Absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> Bianca said, I didn't like the white on Wendy's either, Jonathan, but I like this look on Mia. Mia's look okay. was nice. It was. Aaron said, all the ladies showed up for this reunion. I don't have a fave yet. They are all just so stunning, aren't they? Mm-hmm. Bianca said, um, I mean, Lady Virgo said, Bianca, of course, some of these uh, CC bring peace and calm to us who deal with so much. I have so much fun with you guys. Oh, we yes. love it. That's what our all our channels are about. Right. So we have here, um, Aaron said, Karen is one of my favorite ladies on the couch, but her dress is my least favorite on the couch. Mm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I love that. Um, Lady Virgo said, and Karen usually gets it right most of the time. I'm shocked this time. Always gets it right. She always mm-hmm. brings it. Yep. And we have uh, Bianca said, less is more for Giselle. This is the best she's ever looked. Yeah, because she tried to do too much. Yeah. Uh, Bianca said, well, we'll see why Mia got the seat. The last 15, last, oh, yes, those last 15 minutes last night was intense. Gordon stole the show. And you guys, for those of it you who are watching, did. Let me tell you, I'm going to be doing a whole uh, review on that this Friday at 11, 11 in the afternoon. This Friday, as part of our Happy Marriage series, Hubby's going to be joining me for that. So we're going to talk about that, that particular um, episode, because Gordon said some things there that I want to discuss with you guys. And we'll discuss that mm-hmm. on the, uh, the show mm-hmm. on Thursday. Lady Virgo said, they all look like the ladies of the night from the old jazz blues club my grandparents hung out at. Okay. <laughs> They Ladies did. of the night. Ooh, Lord. <laughs> Curve said Mia got first chair for sharing more than Robin about her separation. Ooh, because Robin has never had first chair, right? No, she's never had first chair. Mm, Curves, great observation. Bianca Candace has never was- had first chair either, I don't think. Oh, Bianca said that was a good analogy, Lady Virgo. They sure did. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And uh, Bianca said a few content creators were at the Martha Vineyard's premiere and they spoke with Candace. She gave them some um, inside scoop on the ladies. Okay. Mm. 
Uh, you know, Candace is going, she's going to run her mouth, child. She gonna, <laughs> uh, Lady Virgo said, Bianca, thank you so much. I remember all the stories and photos of my grandparents from that time in their lives. I miss that so much. Hey, Michelle. Hi, Michelle. Michelle is here. And uh, I think that's it. Thank y'all. Y'all are being so kind in here. I love it. Uh, Curve said this, and then we'll go back. Uh, Curve said, Gordon told me if you want fair, go to a carnival. I listen, I am going to find a t shirt because that thing was like that was the best saying ever. You want fair, go to a carnival. But I was so surprised to hear that they allowed so much to take place in their relationship and their marriage. There's a difference relationship and marriage, relationship and marriage. So it was a difference. And it was you, so surprising that they allowed that. You can add a third one to that, to their family. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes. Right. Curve said, Robin has zero sex appeal. She was gorgeous, but not sexy. Like Mia Ooze is sexy. Trashy, sexy, but you get it. <laughs> uh, agreed. Yes, very much so. Michelle said, I didn't like all of their outfits. Oh, wow. Oh, she like wow. None. She's like, none. Okay. Mm. Curve said, loved how Karen was the one to bring them together and get to this sisterhood. Yeah. Her and Sharice. It's, it's sad that Karen and Sharice cannot get their stuff together. All well, right? I'm, I'm, I'll say one thing. I'm glad Sharice is not on this reunion. That's 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 what I want to say. Okay. Mm. Oh, my goodness. Um, um, Michelle said, Gordon said a whole lot. He, he sure did. did. He did. We're going to talk about that Friday. Um, and then uh, Lady Virgo said, make sure you bring a gallon of holy water for Mia and Gordon. You yeah, we're going to talk about that on Friday. Listen, we've got just a few minutes left here. Let's talk real quick about um, Summer House, uh, Martha's Vineyard. It started, um, the the first, uh, the second season has now started. All of the cast, I believe, are back from my understanding. Let me see if I can bring up the, um, the chart again. But they are back. Um, listen, they are all being themselves. One of the things that Jonathan and I were talking about, which we are still happy that Silas is not on here. Silas has been okay. deployed. The ultimate he, party pooper. Okay. Ah, uh, yes, yes. Okay. He is. He is uh, in the military. Um, he is not back. Um, so I'm. I'm happy. I'm happy that he is not back because Silas is. Uh, uh, I'm so happy. Yeah, he's a I'm drain. So he's draining. Mm -hmm. Very draining. Yes. Well, here's the cast. I don't know if you guys are going to be able to see this, but um, oh, it's it's super tiny. Let me see if I can make it bigger. All right. So here we have the cast here. Um, all of them are back. This one here. Oh, why did she go? Okay, here we go. This one here. Uh, she just need to go away. I'm tired of her. Look, my screen don't even want her on here. Uh, Rhea. Rhea. Bria. Oh, yes, Bria. Yeah. I'm, uh, she was the worst person on that show. Why is she back? I'm, uh, I'll I'm just be rolling my eyes at her Bria. over and over again. I'm tired of Bria being back. Uh, Jasmine is back. Um, Amir is back. Thank the Lord. Amir is, is dating you guys with a beautiful girlfriend. Oh, yes. okay. He's got a girlfriend. Oh, he shows oh. his girlfriend on there. So Amir is back. I'm trying to, to bring up the cast on the screen here. Um, Jordan is back, you guys. She's back. Shanice is back, and she still don't want to wear no clothes. <laughs> oh Lord, that thirsty girl. You still you still remember when she got butt booty naked in front? I think it was Amir that she got naked in front of this last season. Yes. Oh my yes. goodness. Like yes. well, I mean, I, I understand the sentiment. I really do, girl, because I he's just as fine to me as he is to everybody else in the world. But dang. Mm -hmm, mm hmm. Yeah, he is the back. Amir is back. Um, Nick is back. Okay. Yeah, Nick is, is back. You guys. Alex on the show too. Alex has come back. Alex okay. is back on here as well. Let me see if I can share this. Alex is back, and you guys, one of my favorite. This guy is my absolute favorite. I googled him. Preston Mitchum. Preston is doing some big things, y'all. Oh, okay. Big things out here. I'm going to be doing a whole um, show on Preston and what he is bringing. Preston is doing a lot, you guys. Um, he is an advocate. 
He is an attorney. Um, mm. He also came on the, this season and he talks about his father had passed away. Mm. He also spoke about him not having uh, having had a relationship with his father okay. um, and how it affected him and how it affected his family. Um, and his sister, his father passed away and the, they were having the funeral and his sister and him were asked not to attend. Wow. Um, he speaks about that on the show and he's, there's a scene where they're on the show for this um, uh, season two um, and they're on the boat and he takes a bottle and he pops a bottle and he says that he lets the, the friends know that today is the day of his father's funeral. And he's wow. there with them. And he says that there has been some hurt and stuff. There's a lot that that's into that. Um, so I'm going to be talking about that. But Preston was one of my favorites from the first time. Um, Agreed. Jason, I did not see Jason back. Y'all look at this, how they did Salas on here. Do y'all see Salas? They don't even have <laughs> <laughs> Oh, Lord. They don't even have a picture for Silas, y'all. They're like, no, we need to give you no picture, man. Now, um, now, if that was Amir's case, I'd have an issue with that. But, you know, since it's Silas, you know, that's okay. We don't need to see his face. We don't need to see Silas. We don't. Um, uh, Summer is back as well. And you guys, there, there's a plot twist that was revealed on here. Summer and Alex did the horizontal mambo. Oh wow! But weren't they flirting in the in the last? Were, were they flirting in the in the first season? I can't remember because he was flirting. Alice was flirting with somebody. Well, she she disclosed that at the at the table at the dinner table when they were all at the table because she was mad at him because he had some events that he did not invite her to, and oh. she was telling him she says, "Oh, you can't invite me, but you were inside me." That's what she oh said. my lord! <laughs> oh okay, That's what she so said. they are coming with the drama. This drama. Season. And then we've got the new girl, Noelle Hughley. Now, let me tell y'all, I am loving Noelle right now. She's from Atlanta. She says she's an Atlanta native. And she is coming with the looks. She's coming with the eyes. Like, looking at these people, like, y'all are crazy. Y'all are doing way too much. She's coming with the funny. She's she's coming with the fashion. She is coming with it. I How like How does she know everyone? Um, she's friends with, um, I think she's friends with Summer. I think. Okay. Oh, I can't remember. Okay. And also Bria's dog is back. So the dog is back too. Uh, can we can we kick Bria out the house? Can we evict her even though we're only here for for a certain amount of time? Like can we just kick her out? Like Bria, Bria she don't need to be on TV. Like that she already started drama. She started drama, you know, at the table and um Watch out. We're going to talk about it. We're going to talk about it. We're going to talk about it coming Monday, you guys. This coming Monday, we're going to talk about that. Jonathan and I are going to be back with Summer House Martha's Vineyard and also the reunion recap for Real Housewives of Potomac. We're going to talk about all of that this coming Monday. Thank y'all so much for being here. We're rushing because we got to get out of here because we're getting ready to go and talk on our next show here with Dustin. We're going to be talking about 90 Day Fiance. Yes. I love y'all for watching. So y'all come on back, hit that notification bell on our other videos, but let's go ahead and we're going to be heading out now. Jonathan, real quick, closing thoughts, closing thoughts. Um, Wendy, I'm praying for you. That's all I got to say. <laughs> Amen. All right, y'all. See y'all on the next one. Thank y'all for being here. Y'all be blessed now.